I'll say it again. Dan Kennedy once told me this. He said, he said, um, there's no strategic advantage of being a second, uh, second lowest price leader um, in your market, right? So if you can't be Walmart, there's no strategic advantage of being like, hey, Walmart's the cheapest, we're number two, we're the second cheapest. Because then you're like, you're like an idiot. There's no strategic advantage whatsoever. But there is a huge strategic advantage of being like, I am the most expensive guy in my market. Okay, so if you can't be the lowest, then be the most. Don't be the dudes in the middle uh, because there's no, like, it just doesn't work that way. And so I want you guys thinking about that, okay? Because you as entrepreneurs, you're just like a server. You're serving customers, you're serving audiences, and you get paid based on the ticket price of what people are spending. That's why funnels are important, okay? If I just sold people my free book and that was it, guess what I would be right now? I'd be broke. Okay, I did a Facebook Live yesterday showing um, the three funnels we had inside of our book launch. Now, when all is said and done, when our book launch is over, we did over $3 million in, in collected revenue. Now, obviously, it wasn't net, but that was collected gross. What was funny is because I look at all these people do these big, huge product launches, like two, three, five thousand dollars product launches, and most of them are happy to make a million to three million dollars. So I'm like, we did the same thing, and we were giving away a free book. Okay, how? It's because I'm just like the server, right? Like I offered, I offered dessert first, and I had upsells. I offered them a second meal. I did all these kind of things um, because I'm trying to increase the ticket price. Because that's how I get fed as an entrepreneur. Plus, it gives me the ability to serve um, that audience better. Okay, the the waiter that brings you, lets you order dessert ahead of time, so you still get it. The the server lets you order food and take it home. Like he's serving you at a higher level. That's why he gets paid more. He knows how to increase the ticket price, but he's able to first off make the the restaurant more revenue. But second off, he gives you a better experience. You gotta have great meal twice. You have to, your wife doesn't have to cook tomorrow or whatever that might be, or maybe it's you cooking, whatever. Um, but it all comes down to, to that. So anyway, that's the moral of today's story. I hope that helps some of you guys. I'm sure some of you guys are like all freaking out trying to be the cheapest possible person and it doesn't always work that way. Obviously you gotta look at what the market will, will bear, but it, like I said, it's way better typically to be the most expensive than the cheapest.